Hi, I'm Mashikir Rahman from Accounting Celebrity. Welcome back to my channel, where I upload a couple of accounting tutorials weekly. Today, in this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the rate of depreciation. So, let's get started. You might be thinking, why do we need to calculate the rate of depreciation? It is given in the question. No, always the rate of depreciation will not be given in the question. Okay, so here in this topic, I'll show you specifically how to calculate the rate of depreciation okay so here we have a question example so let us take a look at the example on this screen Bayani depreciates his pictures and fittings using the straight line method which is also called equal installment method okay he provides a full year's depreciation in the year of purchase and none in the year of disposal. Okay. He provided the following information. Okay. What is the information here? First of all, here given a cost price of 2013, 31st December, $42,600 and accumulated depreciation is $12,780 and in 2014, so cost price is same $42,600 and accumulated depreciation is $7,040. Okay, now what is next? There were no additions or disposals during the year in the 31st December 2014. So what is the requirement here? Calculate the rate of depreciation Bayani is applying. Okay, so here we have uh, two years information. In 2013, we have a cost price and accumulated depreciation. And same in 2014, we have cost price and accumulated depreciation of fixtures and fittings. Okay, now here we need to calculate the rate of depreciation. So how to do it? So here the method applied is straight line method. It is also called equal installment method. Okay, so here for this method of depreciation, you know, equal installment it means that every year the amount of depreciation will be same okay and the depreciation will be charged only on the cost price okay when we apply reducing balance method what we what we do we subtract the previous year depreciation means accumulated depreciation given for previous year then we calculate the net book value and later on this net book value we multiply the rate of depreciation to calculate the amount of depreciation okay but here straight method so every year the amount of depreciation will be same okay so in 2013 we have accumulated depreciation 12,780 dollars but what is the previous year depreciation it is not given here okay that is the reason it will be a bit complicated but it is as simple as a pie trust me i'll show you here okay so first of all you need to calculate the changes in depreciation okay so how to do it so let us write here changes in depreciation equal to current year depreciation minus previous year depreciation okay so here our current year is 2014 and previous year was 2013 yeah simple so what is the amount of current year depreciation so it is seventeen thousand forty dollars yeah on the question and the previous year depreciation means our uh, depreciation in 2013 was twelve thousand seven hundred eighty dollars okay so this is the accumulated depreciation given in 2013 okay now if we subtract this amount this accumulated depreciation from seventeen thousand forty dollars we get four thousand two hundred sixty dollars right okay now what to do we have to write the formula to calculate the rate of depreciation okay so what formula 
So let us write here rate of depreciation equal to change in depreciation divided by cost price multiplied by 100 okay so here on the question we have cost price which is $42,600 okay so here we already calculated change in depreciation which is $4,260 so let us write this amount here $4,260 okay now we will multiply 100 okay so here it is now if we simplify if we multiply this by 100 then if we divide the answer by $42,600 it is 10% yeah okay very simple to calculate but if you don't know it will be very complicated Okay, so this is how you have to calculate the rate of depreciation. If you get this question in the exam paper, please follow these procedures. Okay, so next time I'll show you some more questions like this so you can practice more. Okay, so this is all about our today's lesson. I hope you understood and enjoyed this lesson. If you think that this video is helpful for you, please share with your friends and comment below. Let me know what you want to see in my next video. Please consider subscribing to my channel because there are other so many accounting tutorials. Those will help you to learn accounting, to understand accounting, to prepare yourself for your exam or test. So good luck for your studies. I'll see you soon with new video. Until then, bye bye.